So we recently arrived in Turkey to spend the next two weeks traveling this beautiful country. In the last vlog, we spent 24 hours in Kosh, enjoying the beaches, the town, and the food. Today though, we woke up early to drive to our next city of Fethiye. During the day, we explored Olu Deniz and Butterfly Valley on Kentanya's channel before continuing our drive to this abandoned village of Kayakoy. Good afternoon guys and welcome to Kayakoy. Kayakoy is an abandoned city near Fethiye. So this afternoon we actually spent the day heading out to Butterfly Valley which is an amazing beach. Uh, we took a public ferry boat to spend the day there and now we've driven about 10-15 minutes away to this abandoned village. We paid 15 lira or no, we, we paid 25 lira for two people to enter this amazing city. And we're gonna spend the afternoon exploring these abandoned ruins. The bad guys keep on winning And the good guys keep on losing We're searching for the light in The darkness So ahead of me, you can see the school and it's much larger than any of the other structures in this area and I have to say the architecture looks very very beautiful Looks like it's all been closed off. Yeah. To be honest, I don't think that anybody's been restoring this area for the last couple years. But nonetheless, it's closed off. I must say that I'm impressed that the structure is still standing in the condition that it is being that this place is so old uh, roughly been dated back to 3000 BC Looks like there might be a lookout point up ahead Let's go see Wow, photo please It's so incredible to see how many buildings are here. Uh, on, the, on the plaque that we read as we entered, it said that there were over 760 uh, buildings and structures here, which is crazy. And look at the viewpoint that we've just arrived at. Wow. You really have to be careful walking down these steps. Um, it's all made of rock and dirt. Uh, and I've noticed that there are a few tourists. We paid roughly about, uh, we actually paid exactly 25 lira per person. For we, two. Oh, for two people actually. Wow, so that's really cheap. So that's roughly about three US dollars for two people. Um, so a dollar and a half each. Really good price. And uh, oh. as I said, you gotta be really careful. Now just from the information that I learned on the plaque down below at the entrance where we paid uh, their ticket fee, um, this place is known to have been built around 3000 BC and uh, it was abandoned around 1923 as a result of the resettlement, uh, Greek resettlement. Uh, so I have no idea what that means really, except for maybe that um, Turkey reoccupied this area possibly and uh, the Greeks were forced to resettle somewhere else. But the city still stands, still remains. Well, only the ruins remain really.
Look at this. Wow. All that remains of these homes, it's just ruins, rocks. Some of these uh, buildings though are still in some good condition. I did fly the drone just five minutes ago and I, I couldn't believe how big this place actually is. And I, just looking down into the, in some of the homes, some of the buildings that still stand here, all there is is just trees and grass, really. But it's incredible to see how big this place is. It's incredible how big it is. Okay, we're gonna walk in here real quick and see what a home looked like. Ooh. Looks like a, a sunken area, wow. So this would have been a home and uh, it's really not that big. All there is is two windows there. Gotta be really careful here. But as you can see, there's only two windows there and the door and that looks like possibly a chimney where they would have cooked and uh, I don't know, it looks like a maybe a bathroom area but it's all really not that big at all and maybe even a basement down there wow there should be something here maybe this was a bathroom this area was a bathroom yeah it looks like there's a second attachment here it's a lot deeper though Wow. One thing you guys can not notice immediately, like Tanya just mentioned actually, is that it looks like all of these buildings, structures, homes, were only one level with possibly a basement area um, because uh, I'm assuming it was a little more difficult to get water here. Uh, but if you do know more information about this place, comment down below, I'd love to know more about this area but obviously this was a Greek settlement and you can just see in the distance how big it was so this is possibly another home it looks like the same size maybe a little bigger And maybe that's a basement that leads down and out of the out of the home. But this is where the windows would have been, looking over the beautiful view and beautiful valley. I imagine it's gonna be more or less the same as we go up, so we're gonna head back down now. But overall very impressive, very affordable to come here if you guys are interested in coming. It is called Kayakoi Ruins and very close to uh, the Butterfly Valley and Fetier if you guys are coming down this way. Do you realize that it's in very much country? Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> this place is so large that they need arrows to show you how to get back. <laughs> what's, uh, what's the one word we've learned here in Turkey? Durak. No. That's Russian. Hmm. No, no. Chikis. What's the other word we've learned? Giris. What is it? Giris. Giris. Entry. Entry. Yes. The other word that we've learned in Turkey is teşekkürler. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Well, guys. Oh, careful. Well, guys, that concludes our journey through the abandoned city slash ruins here in Kayakoy. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like if you've if you made it to the end of the video, guys. Please consider subscribing and. Uh, Hope you guys check out future videos here in Turkey because we're not done yet. Mm -hmm.